Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most surprising details that have been reported about Taylor Swift's iconic Eras Tour. <laughs> Number 10, Janitor Cart. In case you hadn't heard, Taylor Swift can draw in a pretty massive crowd at her concerts. While the horde of Swifties eagerly await the start of the show, there's often one little issue – how to get the star backstage without being seen. Or worse, ambushed. Luckily, her team devised a clever and sanitary method to get her to the stage. Eagle-eyed fans theorized early on in the tour that Swift was traveling backstage via janitor cart. So I through these nights, I prefer hiding in plain sight. As wild as it sounds, it was in fact proven to be true when one concertgoer caught Swift emerging from the cart one night before the set. Call it what you want, but we think this strategy is pretty iconic. Number 9. An Enchanted Ball Gown Miss Swift is known for her ability to dress for revenge. And her Eras Tour wardrobe was no exception. Her Midnight's bodysuit featured 5,300 hand embroidered crystals and beads, while the custom Atelier Versace bodysuit embodied the sunset aesthetic of the Lover album. We have to give a shout out to the blue gown Swift debuted on the night she announced 1989 Taylor's version, but it's the custom Zuhair Murad couture gown the pop star wore during her Speak Now set that was an instant classic. The romantic pink dress sports over 54 yards of tulle and is adorned with sequins in typical Swift style. It's the perfect fit for the bewitching fairy tale number it accompanies on the tour. All I can say is it was enchanting to me. Number 8. Friendship Bracelets This is Taylor Swift here with an educational instructional video on how to put on my bracelets. Remember the good old days of making friendship bracelets? The Eras Tour brought this nostalgic craft back in early 2023, and since then it's become a massive trend. Be with your friends. These are the relationships that really matter. These are going to be what lasts. So the fans have kind of gravitated towards making bracelets. Yes! yes. We're gonna, you wear them and then you can trade them. Fans were inspired to adopt the jewelry making into their concert outfit preparation after Swift released her 2022 track, You're On Your Own Kid, which referenced the activity. Make the friendship race, let's take the moment and taste it. You've got no reason to be afraid. Since then, jewelry making kits have been flying off the shelves. Popular craft chain Michaels reported a 40% sales increase since April 2023 and a 300% sales lift in tour locations. About how many did you make? 65. Bracelet making is not only a fun way to get excited about the tour, but also a way for Swifties to connect, as trading creations has become popular at the shows. It felt like I was healing my inner child by doing it, honestly. <laughs> yeah. like It was so therapeutic to do it and just fun to like yeah. feel like a kid again. Number 7. Stage Dive Taylor Swift is a master at many things. What if I told you I'm a mastermind? And now you're mine. But one thing we did not expect her to add to her growing resume was diving. Sure enough, when it came time to pull out a few tricks for the Eras Tour, Swift added a shocking stage dive. The disappearing act comes between her acoustic set and the final era, Midnight's. Swift seemingly swims underneath the stage and emerges on the opposite end in a new outfit. Okay, so maybe she doesn't actually swim. Instead, it seems that she jumps onto an airbag beneath the stage, where she's then transported without the use of fins. Still, it's incredibly impressive and stands as a great way to introduce her newest era. It was so nice throwing big parties, jump into the pool from the balcony. Number 6. Fearless Guitar Glitter and Taylor Swift pretty much go hand in hand. I like glitter and sparkly dresses, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Longtime fans will remember that the Fearless era was particularly known for its sparkle, which bedazzled everything from dresses to makeup and even instruments. So we wouldn't expect anything less than a rhinestone guitar to accompany the Fearless set on the Eras Tour. Brother, 
The guitar is highly reminiscent of Swift's original Sparkle guitar, which featured Swarovski crystals and was often used during the Fearless era. For a steady man, asking God me, you'd play it again. What some fans may not know is that the guitar used on the Eras Tour is made extra special by the fact that both Swift's parents superglued each and every rhinestone by hand. And in typical Swift fashion, there's a number 13 for good measure. Number 5. Bonuses For a tour as big as the Eras Tour, it's no surprise that thousands of employees take part in making sure that everything goes perfectly along the way. From setting up the stage to dancing on top of it, these employees are integral in making each night special for concertgoers. Their efforts have not gone unnoticed, particularly by Swift, who gifted team members a Christmas in July bonus during that month in 2023. I'm Santa Claus. According to sources, the singer doled out $55 million in bonuses, which included $100,000 checks to drivers, along with personalized messages from Swift. My father was the one that actually presented the checks uh, to, our, to our drivers, and he presented handwritten letters from Taylor. It's incredible that they would take that time. All thanks to these incredible workers, the magic of the tour has been felt across the U.S. and in many parts of the world. We're about to go on a little adventure together. Number 4. Ticket Sale Mayhem They're left out. No! They didn't get chosen, that's how life works. <laughs> Picture this, over 3.5 million Swifties pre-register to buy tickets online for the Eras Tour. What could go wrong, right? As it turns out, a lot. In November 2022, Ticketmaster opened up the pre-sale for the highly anticipated tour, and more than 2 million users purchased tickets, the most ever in 24 hours. But you had people who were really expecting, so these are the people who actually got a code, expecting to get on today and buy tickets, and they couldn't. The unprecedented demand resulted in extensive waits, ticket shortages, and many disappointed fans. Since the fiasco, many have pointed out the shortfalls of the company, particularly their monopoly over ticket sales in the U.S. To a lot of people, this looks very much like uh, a vertical monopoly. Internationally, things weren't much better. Brazilian lawmakers plan to implement a bill dubbed the Taylor Swift Law to combat ticket scalping. From the very start, it was obvious that the Eras Tour was unlike any other. The Great War. Number 3. Earthquake I heard people who were in the, like, the upper levels could see it moving. We really knew nobody around us, and yet, like, it kind of felt like we were all meant to be there together. Did you feel the Earth move? Oh, it was probably just a Taylor Swift concert. That's what residents experienced when the Eras Tour landed at Seattle's Lumen Field for two shows in July. Seismologists reported that the seismic activity caused by all the dancing was equal to a 2.3 magnitude earthquake. This isn't the first time this has happened in the Emerald City. In 2011, a 2.0 magnitude beast quake occurred after Marshawn Lynch's famous touchdown. It, this was much bigger than the beast quake in terms of raw amplitude of shaking. Um, and it went on for a whole lot longer. Of course, the, you know, the beast quake was a moment in time. But thus far, the Swifties really have, have uh, the Seahawks fans beat. If you were wondering which songs really get fans grooving, scientists were able to determine that Bad Blood and You Belong With Me produce the most powerful activity. We have to agree that the Swifties certainly have good taste. Number 2. Highest Grossing Tour You gonna just like do a show with like all the albums in it? And I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be called the Eras Tour. See you there. When Swift announced she was taking her eras on the road in 2023, it was anticipated to be a major international event. After the cancellation of her 2020 Loverfest tour due to the global pandemic, coupled with her unparalleled success since then, millions were ready to finally sing along to their favorite songs in concert. But how much has the tour actually made? Turns out, enough to make it the highest grossing tour of all time by a woman as of fall 2023. Swift is projected to cross the $1 billion threshold with the tour, which is also set to become the highest grossing tour ever and surpass Elton John's record. If the domestic leg of the tour is any indication, we'd say Swift is on her way to hitting yet another achievement. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Breaking Records How does that sound? Welcome to the acoustic setting! Taylor Swift is officially in her record-breaking era. A tour as successful as Swift's is bound to cause a major shift in the industry, but the impact of the era's tour has been colossal. On opening night, Swift reportedly claimed Madonna's 36-year-old record for the most attended female concert in American history. More than 69,000 loyal fans filled State Farm Stadium to see the now legendary tour commence. Fans have consistently tried to break records throughout the tour, including the longest standing ovation. In Los Angeles, Swift was honored by eight whole minutes of applause after champagne problems. <laughs> Meanwhile, the concert film has broken records in and of itself. Even over 17 years into her career, Swift continues to raise the bar and achieve incredible success. Which of these behind-the-scenes facts made you wish you had tickets to the Eras Tour? Let us know in the comments. I've never had a fraction of the amount of fun I had on the Eras Tour before ever. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.